the King and Queen of Jordan are probably the most beautiful royal couple in the world. Queen Rania and King Abdullah II have been together for almost 30 years. They raised four children and are still happy together. It's hard to believe that their youngest child is already 18 years old. How is this lovely family? And what does their youngest son, Hashem, who rarely appears in public, look like today? Keep watching to find out their incredible life story. This is WOW channel. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin! Their wedding took place in 1993. It was an incredible celebration. At that time, King Abdullah II was the Prince of Jordan. His bride, a commoner named Rania, looked like a top model. Together they were an amazing couple. This wedding will definitely go down in history as one of the most beautiful and romantic. Before the eyes of millions of people, the tale of Cinderella seemed to come true. The newlyweds were in heaven with happiness, and ordinary people shed tears looking at them. All the girls in Jordan must have been jealous of Rania, but few of them knew what this girl had to go through. Rania al Yassin never imagined that she would ever become queen. She was born in Kuwait to a simple Palestinian family. She had a normal childhood. The girl never dreamed of princesses and understood that everything in this life would have to be achieved by herself. She studied a lot and after school she received a degree in business administration from the American University in Cairo. But the quiet life came to an end one day. In 1991, during the First Gulf War, the family were forced to flee Kuwait and settled in Jordan's capital, Amman. They had to become refugees and start life from scratch. It was a big test for all family members. In Jordan, Rania found a job in marketing and Citibank before moving to Apple. Two years after the move, an amazing event occurred that changed her whole life. In 1993, she met her future husband, Prince Abdullah. They first met at the dinner, where she was with his sister's friend. The prince was enchanted by her beauty and fell in love from the first sight. He tried to ask her out on a date, but she refused because he became famous as a womanizer. Abdullah didn't give up and continued to court her, giving gifts to prove the seriousness of his intentions. As a result, Rania gave up, and a few months after they met, they got married. A year after the wedding, their first baby, Prince Hussein, was born. Two years later, the daughter of Princess Iman. Rania was an ordinary mother of two children and a happy wife, but in 1999 her husband unexpectedly received the title of King of Jordan, and she in turn became Queen Consort. She realized that this title is not only a great responsibility, but also a great opportunity to help people. Therefore, Queen Rania took up humanitarian and active social work. Her main concerns are health, education and child protection. However, this didn't become an obstacle to having two more children. In 2000 she gave birth to a daughter, Princess Salma, and in 2005 a son, Prince Hashem. Her eldest son, Prince Hussein, has always been in the spotlight, because he will one day inherit his father's throne. The daughters also achieved great success in job and career. Princess Salma, for example, became the first female jet pilot in the Jordanian armed forces. And little was known about the youngest son, Prince Hashem, for a long time. He is unlikely to ever become the king of Jordan, because the post will go to his older brother. But who knows, he is second in line to the throne. In January 2023, Prince Hashem celebrated his 18th birthday. He currently studies at King's Academy, a boarding in Mabada. The prince loves football. 
which he has been playing since childhood, his team often takes first place. Well, he can afford to pursue a sports career if he wants to. After all, numerous royal duties are not imposed on him. Prince Hashem has become an adult under Jordanian law. It's hard to believe that he has grown. After all, his mother has not changed much since she first showed the baby to her citizens. Queen Rania is already 52 years old, and she is still as young as before, and her marriage is still strong and happy. The story of Queen Rania and her family is more than just a Cinderella story that's much better. Therefore, she showed by her own example what happens after a fairy tale ends with a wedding and a kiss. Rania and her husband raised four children and will now meet old age together. Do you agree that their story is simply fantastic? Thanks for watching! Don't forget to share your thoughts with me, to click like and to subscribe. See you next time!